We gotta make a little baby now. Yeah, that's a cute, that is a cute little tasty looking <laughs> little baby right there. Um, in your supply pack are two brown wires. They, um, they come in these lengths of 18 inches and this is what we're gonna use to make the armature. So I'm gonna find the center of my 22 gauge and I'm gonna wrap three inches or twist, sorry, three inches for the head and neck. And then the head's basically one, and then the neck is two. You're gonna find the center of your second wire, make a mountain, and then put it at the base of the neck and do that shoulder twist two times. One, two, one, two. Then we're gonna twist these together for the back and it's gonna be three inches from the front leg. So about there, one more twist there, okay. Okay, we're gonna use all the wire on pretty much on the back legs, but we'll probably have to cut a little bit off the front legs. But you want an elbow at one inch, and then a pastern um, two and a half inches from that, and then their little foot. So this is just uh, quite a bit to fold back. So I'm gonna um, I'm gonna cut it off. I'm gonna cut about a half an inch off here. Left-handed, mind you. Um, and then we want their foot to be about um, three quarters of an inch from that pastern. So, and one inch elbow, two and a half inch to their ankle. Cut this extra off. And then three quarter from the ankle to the end of the foot. And then on the hind legs, um, it's one inch to the knee, inch and a half to the hock, um, and then about an inch, inch and a half, inch and a quarter to the pastern, and then it, you're at the end of your wire, so you want to fold that little foot back. They're leggy little things, that's what we're after. I got one leg longer than the other here. Oh, no, it kind of depends on how you hold it. So a fawn can walk within a half hour of being born. Wow, I thought it was maybe even more than that. Horses are real fast too. Pretty cool. This also says they do not have a smell, which helps them wow. avoid predators, which okay. is kind of crazy. So that's our little fawn armature. Found a teeny, teeny, tiny baby, but not really grown yet either. Keep going. I gotta shorten this foot just a little bit. Okay, if you've got your tacky wrap heated up, you can use it. Um, your swax heated up. Swax, sorry, on these feet. But mine's not heated up yet, so I'm gonna use tacky wrap just to wrap, get them wrapped so we can keep going and then um, later when it's hot I will swax them to finish them so I'm just getting this on the wire just where the feet go and I'm going to use black core These little thin strips of black core And then just wrap a nice tight little hoof. Keep them tiny. 
Don't even need that much. It's all really small. Yeah. This fawn is just sort of less than half the size of the dough. So it's really small amounts of wool. This will do two feet. If I can keep it smooth. Working on this wire is a little tricky because the it's not a very stiff wire, so if you're gonna wrap things tight, it wants to pull pull it around. Alright, we've got our feet on there. Now we're gonna do off-white core down the legs. And I want to work with probably about four inch strips and this is um, not even quarters even a little bit thinner than quarters real thin drafted out well, it's still very exciting in here I know we're just gonna keep going despite the exciting mail delivery so I'm really stretching this out thin I'm just coming down the leg and since I'm not going to change this color at all I'm doing that pastern wrap um, in this wrap in this off-white so I just got to work my way down there and keeping it as smooth and thin as I can nice and tight this is where a little bit of practice is a good thing hard to work small and thin if you're brand new yes yes I think so some people can you know are kind of have a fussy tendency anyway so they are able to you know make that leap but um, for me it took a lot of practice so I'm doing that crisscross on that um, angle to get a little joint built up. One of the things that makes babies look like babies is they're kind of oversized joints. Well, <laughs> fawn and foals anyway. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about human babies. And I went right down and took care of that, you know, to make the hoof the, the size that I want it to be as well. So I'll show you on a hind leg. On the hind legs, I usually go around the body to get it anchored. Can't do that so easily on the front legs. Why do male deer need braces? Um, I don't know why. Because they have buck teeth. <laughs> Um, in this case, I'm, I'm not going to do the hock with the off-white. I'll do the hock with the tan once I get there. But I am going to do this little low joint down here. So when I get to the joint, I make that X. I really try to keep it right on the joint so that it becomes a little bump. It doesn't just look swollen. <laughs> it looks like a joint, hopefully. One more. I'm gonna really zoom. Okay. Just for fun on the joint. Okay. I 
through another vehicle. I'm waiting for the noise to start. I know. Afternoons get exciting around here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I wonder if they can hear that. UPS and FedEx come pretty early nowadays, but mail mail comes in the afternoon. Okay. Okay. This I feel like this one's like a little short or something. But there's the joint. Maybe it's just because this little foot's coming up so high. See that one I'm letting slip, so it's ending up swollen looking. So fancy. Just a little bit of stabbing should keep everything in place. Okay, now we need to get some off-white going on on the body. So I'm going to pull mm, like a six inch piece, quarter it, and really stretch these out so that they're manageable. It's very similar to the dough going to go up the neck out the nose and back and building up a little bit wider. Like I'm glad I have this much left because I want it to be a little wider at the base of the neck. You might need a second piece. Okay, and then one of these we're going to do the chest wrap. So it goes around over our shoulder, under the armpit, over the back, and then under the armpit and over the shoulder. And then the rest of it I can go around the back. I went around the base of the neck there too, just because um, it looked a little wimpy in there. And then this one, I'm going to go on the body. So if people are feeling like, what was that chest crisscross wrap? Sarah does it in just about everything. I'll do it again. So every single tutorial, pretty much. Make a few things and it will be less confusing. <laughs> Okay, let's do that again. I have one more quarter here. Stretch it out. This is a nice big one. So I'm going to start on the back, come towards the chest, and then do it. So it's over the shoulder and under the opposite armpit. And then I have to go over the back so that I can go under the, the other armpit and over the opposite shoulder. Let's get another six inch piece, quarter it, and we need another one on the body. So it looks like a nice little hot dog. <laughs> Always got to go there with your food. I know. Tempting food analogy. Okay, um, as with the 
dough, we want to do a tan wrap on the upper legs to start to build those up. So I'm going to take a six inch piece, five or six inches, and um, I'm going to quarter it. So I'm getting pretty narrow strips here. Stop making so much noise as you walk through, Talbot. <laughs> Just looking for some nips. <laughs> nips? Do we not have any more packaged? Okay, so I have my stretched out, quartered, five inch pieces. And on the front leg, well, what do I want? I'm gonna split one of these in half. I actually want to do his knee and top coat because it's so tiny. So this one, I'm just gonna go down the elbow and back up and return to the body. Just bringing that upper leg together with the body. other side. See how he's all like skinny and disjointed right there? We want to get, get that filled in. Down to the elbow, back up, and return to the body. On the hind legs, it's going to be similar. I want to go, I'm going to take a full, full stretched out five inch piece. Started out as five inches. I'm actually going to go around the body and then I'm going to come to this, go to the knee joint, angle back up. and return to the body. And then I can stab it from the inside and sort of flatten it out a little bit. That's not good. That's not good. Mm -mm. I'm going to do it right handed. What? what? I know. What? Because <laughs> I want to make it the same as I did the other one. I don't do this very well. See, and then it can kind of come up the butt. Mm. And. <laughs> like a little diaper. It is. And it because we don't put butt bones on these little ones, it kind of gives that. A little bit of wool there. All right. I think I do want to put a little, little belly on this guy. So I'm going to get off white and I'm going to take a four inch piece. I'm going to split it in half. And then I'm just going to roll it. Oh, that's going to be too much. I'm going to split that in half. So I'm going to stretch that out. So I had a four inch piece that's now a quarter. And I'm just going to roll that up by hand into a little one inch pillow. One inch this way. Stretched it out to about two and a half inches. And then I'm going to tack it on the side here. We did the same thing on the deer, on the doe. I just don't need as much <laughs> as big of a piece or as much so I want to keep it keep it soft able to just kind of felt on so I have that quarter I'm going to stretch it out to about two inches wide and then roll it in an inch So 
So this is super similar to what you did, just everything smaller scale. Yep, we're not doing shoulder. We don't need shoulders. We don't need hips. Um, you know, a little less work on the legs. It'll come together faster. The face is about as many shapes, but. Um, okay, then I just wanna go around that whole thing. So if I have, I'm, I have a random piece of off-white here that I'm stretching out to a nice eight or nine inch piece. And I can just go bring all this together here. You could just keep wrapping, but I feel like putting the belly on puts the weight where it should be rather than building up the back as much as you are the chest and belly. So I like to use pieces at this point. Alrighty. Now I'll put the um, tan on the legs um, and then we'll swax the feet. So I'm still using my um, tawny and I want nice thin strips. And with it, I'm gonna come down the leg, make the knee or hock joint, and then just let it taper into the off-white. So I'm just covering. The off white. I'm going to really make that define that hock. Get that crisscross going. Give them a good little joint here. And then I know I want. I'm done. So I'm going to pull that off and then let this fringe just taper into the off white. And that's it. I don't do any further color. So it looks like that. So do that again. quiet little tutorial. It is. Just like the there's, deer. There's, yes, that was my whole plan. <laughs> there's not a whole lot of, uh, there's some facts. There's no, there's no white-tailed deer rumpus. It's all serene. A lot of buck and stag jokes, but <laughs> most of them are inappropriate for our tutorial. Yeah. I love their skinny little legs. Am I centered? Yep. Felting wise, I should say. <laughs> I mean, if you really want to get into it. <laughs> On the front legs, I'm just going to come down the leg. I might not have a long enough piece here, we'll see. Nah, let me start over. There we go. Nice, super thin, like eight inch piece. I'm going to come down the leg, thicken up this upper leg a little bit, and then where the knee should be, I'm really going to try to keep it nice and close together, keep my ribbon narrow, and crisscross to make that knee joint, and then just let a little bit of fringe blend down the leg. Kind of stab around the knee a good bit to get it 
get it to stay right where I want it. We don't want that to travel. You can bring that um, uh -oh. swax up here and see if we can keep it off of our hair and our clothing today. Yeah, you got it on a cute shirt. I know, I'm bummed. I haven't tried washing it yet, though. Not sure what's going to happen there. How did I? I don't even know how I did that. I must have flung Flick, it. Flicked it. Getting this knee. It always work in a smock. That's a proverb. <laughs> Artists shall smock. Oh. Milo did not like that one. Mm -hmm. yeah. A smock today save, saves the shirt tomorrow. Okay, let's get our little feet sealed on here, trying to make it a little bit less fuzzy than they were yesterday. Got my color shaper. Got my bunny butter. You guys know the drill. What? <laughs> we can't quite see you. Why not? <laughs> I'm right here. <laughs> What's the problem? <laughs> How's that, uh, Mr. No Move Camera? It's better. It's not good when I move the camera. <laughs> Anyone know. seen the tacky wrap video? I know. I'm just teasing. <laughs> I got people still recovering with their Dramamine after that one. Very hoofy. Mm-hmm. 